What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm doing something a little bit new, sort of a challenge sort of thing. I don't even know what it is, but I'm gonna be seeing how far I can get with a one minute edit versus a 60 minute edit. So one minute versus an hour edit. So let's jump into it. So if you are new here, my name is Jacob Scott. And I make filmmaking and photography videos like this one pretty much every single week. So if that's something of interest to you, be sure to go down below, hit that like, subscribe, comment, every button on there that you can find besides that thumbs down button but if you do that who cares anyways all right starting in three two oh by the way really quick before i get in this i'm not using any of my presets for any of these photos but if you'd like to like have a preset pack or something like that let me know in the comments below but as for this challenge not using any presets in these photos starting in three two one go I'm already 15 seconds in. Time's up. That is time. That is time. All right, so this is what we started with on the left, and on the right is what we ended with. So overall, I'd say that's Nothing special, but it's it's not bad. It's okay. You know what? It's average. I'd give it. But that's the 60 second edit. Now let's go into the 60 minute edit. Let's reset this photo and start off three, two, one, now. All right, so first I'm gonna go down here. Auto. trying to keep and make sure I'm sort of maintaining some sort of skin tones I'm not trying to mess that up too much that's starting to look pretty good I'd say definitely a bit above average of what the other one was um, but main thing with having this much time is I'm gonna be able to remove things that are distracting like say this here um, these cables I just don't like that but in the meantime you need to sort of focus this in a little bit better I think If I like how much blue there is on the car, so what I go ahead and do is actually we'll do that in Photoshop. I'm already like six minutes in and I'm already liking it a lot, so let's see what we can do with 54 minutes, almost 55 minutes left. Um, see is there anything else that I want to do here in Lightroom I can't really see a ton that I want to do left here in Lightroom besides maybe let's just do a little detail work here majority of this is going to be done in Photoshop but we can do a little bit of it here still in Lightroom also I will say this is kind of hard to do with this huge light right here because it's making a bit of a glare on the screen so I can't see the colors perfectly, but uh, we'll just see how it comes out. This is the face you're, when you're trying to contemplate what to do next to fill up 45 more minutes. So 
So with 20 minutes left on the clock, I'm officially calling it here. So at this point, the title might be slightly deceiving because I did not need 60 minutes. I literally cannot find any anything else to do that makes sense to this image. I mean, there's plenty of stuff that I could just continue to just change and change and change, but I don't want it to be so significantly different from the start that it just looks like a completely different image. So about half an hour is what it took to get this photo Honestly, I'd say completely refined as much as I'm gonna get it. So here they are. So yeah, looking at these photos side by side, there's definitely a massive difference spending a decent amount of time on your photo compared to just a little amount of time. One of the biggest things I was able to do with that amount of time is remove sort of little bits and distractions that I didn't like in the photo. For example, this line on the road here, that wasn't perfectly centered in the middle of the road. Um, so solution, get rid of it. And the sign over here, completely remove that. And these power lines, the power lines just didn't add anything to the photo. Kind of had made it look like there's a pole coming out of my back. It just kind of looks weird. Did not look very good. And I think it's a significant improvement over the 60 second edit. Now, something else was just, I was able to manipulate the colors quite a bit more to get them exactly how I liked compared to the left side, which kind of just looks, it's not bad, it just kind of looks dull, not really anything special, whereas on the right, definitely has sort of a grade to it, a theme to it, so if you're, you know, using similar colors like this in your grid, definitely gonna fit and look a lot better on something like Instagram or something like that. And finally, something I was able to go in and do was remove a bunch of color fringing. So if you notice here, on my jacket on each of them. The 60 second edit, I was not able to remove that sort of aqua and purple sort of hue it gets around bright white lines, whereas I was able to remove almost all of it completely in the 60 minute edit, which really just became a 32 minute edit, but close enough. But overall, I think this was a fun little experiment. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to go down below, hit the like, Hit the subscribe button it really does help out nearing 1500 and i want to do another giveaway once i hit 2000 subscribers so be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified when i drop information regarding the giveaway but that is pretty much it for this one i'll see you later you got that look in your eyes.